What's going on, folks? Welcome to 34 Questions. I'm your host, 34, and today's guest is Sean Ye. Sean, you 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 from the Bay Area? I I don't think I even know where you're from, man. Oh yeah, yeah, no, nah, born and raised here, man. I was uh, actually born up in Petaluma, up oh, in Sonoma shit. County. Yeah, so yeah, I grew yeah. up there, and then I moved up to the city right after high school. For sure, for sure. I want to thank you for your time, man. I know, like. I can't say we know each other that well, but you know our paths have crossed before in the past, and you know I know we we have similar interests as far as you know working in media and doing the me media thing. Um, so, tell me, man, how you how how have you been? Man, uh, I mean life has been crazy. I'm sure, like everyone else, with everything that's going on. But um, you know I've been able to I've been able to keep my head above water. Um, I've been able to, to, to just put my head down and grind and, and uh, really focus on, on me, you know, and focus on what I'm doing and what I want to continue to do. So uh, I feel I feel good about some of the decisions I've been making lately. So, uh, you know, things are good, bro. What That's, about you? How are you, dog? I, I'm, I'm doing cool, man. I'm doing cool. I, I'm trying to find my rhythm, man. That's, that's the big yeah. thing for me right now. It's like... Um, but before this podcast, man, I was I have my focus was finding a day job, right? And then I found a day job, and then after the day job, I was like, okay, what can I do to fill in my time um, when I'm out of work? Because I don't know, I just turned 30 last year, and uh, I've been trying to like, I guess I, I'm feeling a little more motivated, a little more focused. Um, yeah, I spent all of Corona kind of like. Uh, dabbling into my old hobbies as I was growing up, just yeah. re rekindling that fire a little bit, um, seeing the things that I did like and th just the things that, you know, maybe I'm just interested in. But all of that, all that time spent kind of like built up into this podcast, you know? Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, it set me up to do this. So I I'm doing all right, to be honest. Um, I am just trying to find that routine that can help me stay uh, productive and consistent. Um, and that's a challenge for everybody out there. I, I know, I know how it is, uh, but you can find it. I, I believe it. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm at hey, right now. Hey, it all starts up here, bro. The, the thoughts that you think and the, the words that you say to yourself. You know what I mean? It really helps. And if, uh, if you're if you're being really hard on yourself, it's gonna make it really hard on you. But if you tell yourself good things, like yo, I'm doing it, and I want to continue doing it. You know what I mean? Like pat yourself on the back. Like be your own cheerleader like it's okay to be your own number one fan yeah yeah right no doubt no doubt man um i mean tell me more about that as far as like i, I feel like a lot of uh i guess pushback i get from myself is you know people try to tell me to be realistic and try to be you know um you try not to put all my eggs in one basket and yeah those kind of that talk outside of my head you know kind of creeps in um so do you encounter that at all and how do you deal with that i mean do i encounter it like every day of my life like we all have these negative thoughts you know and I, i'm 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 speaking very generally um you yeah, know like yeah. a lot of the people i've been surrounded by lately and whether it's what's going on in their internal life or what's going on externally with the world you know what i mean there's so many stresses and people just start talking down to themselves you know yeah um but you know what was the question again my bad oh no you're good man i was just asking uh, you, uh how do you deal with that with all that negative oh. talk yeah yeah I mean, honestly, honestly, it's it's being positive, like it's being positive within my head. And even if I have a bad day, I find something where I could be like that made me that made me better today. For sure. Like I, I learned this about this thing or I had this conversation with someone and, and I had a great connection and we had a great conversation. And I think I like helped that person or they helped me. You know what I'm saying? Like those little things throughout the day mean so much when you really look at them and when you really appreciate them and when you really enjoy that feeling you know what i mean oh yeah 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 no doubt um that positivity can, can come from anything can come from yep. uh you know sometimes you know how like i don't know if it ever happens to you but like you're you're looking for a sign and somewhere out in the world it's just like a sticker pops up or an ad pops up that kind of like speaks to you out of nowhere and you're like damn i needed that or <laughs> you know yeah yeah that shit happens Dude. man <laughs> synchronicity is a thing bro synchronicity in the universe uh, uh communicates with you uh in certain signs you know what i mean and it's really on you to be able to really i know all of our eyes are open most of the time but mm -hmm. are we really seeing 
those things you know what i'm saying and yeah. i and i know you're starting to see things like this because of the show you know and and you're starting to see like where things can lead to and how if you continue to work on things this can be a, a, a great big project that can make a huge impact on on the world you know yeah, or yeah. starting with the bay area you know what i mean no for sure for sure i um i'm definitely feeling that you know uh, someone left a comment and it was like 34 is your lucky number and I'm like shit I'm starting to believe that you know <laughs> so who, who knows Bro. who knows who knows but uh, yeah man um, we'll continue on with the intro I know we're, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep talking deep so the second question is uh, what would you like the audience to know about you what would I like the audience to know about me I was see and, and I and I kind of need some help with this like what yeah. is your audience like like, I don't know too much about your audience. Dude, you I, know? honestly, man, I don't know my audience either. Um, I feel like the people who are watching are just people who are close to me because, you know, they've been supporting. Okay. And, um, yep. you know, uh, my my whole goal at first is for people to, you know, it, whoever comes on as a guest, hopefully they share mm -hmm. it with their people. So oh, it's like a sure. way for them to get to know that person as well in a different way if they've never, you know, just, yep. just given that um, platform for them. So, yeah, I mean, my audience, I would just say shout out to all the close homies and families hey. and friends out there who were watching. Uh, hey, much love. Do, but, yeah. You know the homies over at Astronaut Supply? Hell yeah, dude. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, get out of here, you, bro. You rock with them? Bro, tough. Tough, Damn. my boy, Albie. I just met him recently, Albie and Anna, through uh, the folks at SF Roots, but we That's got real up. tight real quick, and I seen they was following you, so I had to, you know what I'm saying? So, I had to, I had to represent. <laughs> in, in, like, you know, the six degrees of separation, I actually know uh, Billy. I don't know if you met Billy. Um, his partner his yeah, boy? yeah yeah you know, yeah I, yeah i haven't met him yet but yeah that's that's his partner so i know him through a, a mutual friend of ours um they went to sf state together and uh yeah man small world you know <laughs> well, <laughs> i see that's what's SF up you rocking yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up um, man but but no back to the question what i want your followers to know yeah honestly honestly number one just always be open and honest always be open and honest and have really pure intentions because I think with all the energy that's going on around in the world, you you got to just do that just for now, right? To get things on the right track and make that a habit. You know what I mean? And yeah. the second thing is bad things happen to good people and you got to fight your way through that shit. You know what I mean? And I've been through it. I'm sure you've been through it. A lot yeah. of my homies have been through it where you just get caught up in a bad situation and you had a good heart or you had good intentions and other people didn't or you didn't weren't on the same page with with things you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and i'm not saying physically fight your way through it but mentally fight your way through it yeah. trust your heart that's gonna it's gonna push you through those hard times and it's gonna get better you know what i mean yeah um so yeah just just i mean be, be strong and be confident in yourself you know what i'm saying when it comes to these struggling and challenging things because you can do it for sure for sure um yeah man i mean i'd also add on you know you said mentally fight through it spiritually too like you said deep, deep down you know, your spirits and if you're not meditating, are you even spiritual? Like, get out of here, oh, bro. Man. Oh, man. Oh. Well, since you brought up meditation, man, let me <laughs> let me ask you, what does meditation mean to you? Or, like, how, how do you practice it? Because I feel like everyone practices it differently. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. Meditation for me, and, and shout out to all the people that meditate in, in whatever way it is, because I think meditation is a great practice. I think for me, I was I was lucky. I was lucky enough as as a little child. I was taken out to like meditation sessions and these what? courses. Yeah, and like energy work. And I didn't know. Like I grew up in Petaluma. It's a little hippie town, you know. But yeah. I experienced that as a kid, and I didn't like it then. But now I understand what meditation is, and I I I, <clears throat> I do a little routine, if you will. But mm -hmm. like. I'll go and stretch in front of the window, like get loose and then get in your, and I, and I might not be saying the, the terms right, but get in your little pose, your little like cross your leg, mm. put your hands up, you know what I mean? Really yeah, start yeah. focusing on your deep breathing, clear your whole mind, you know what I mean? Let all your thoughts just go. Like my whole thing, like now when I meditate is almost like I'm in a big, huge movie theater by myself and you just turn the screen black and then let everything else go black and just focus on that moment and your breathing. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, 
bruh it's if you can tap in on that meditation level like it, it, you're floating bro like i've had I, like experiences in the last few years but like i literally felt like i was hovering you know what i mean when That's you just really tap in bruh and uh it's it's hard for a lot of people, but I I will encourage anyone if anyone wants to hit me up and talk about meditation, even guided meditation. I've never done it myself, but I've heard for people that works for them to help them. You know what I'm saying? Work Clear them thoughts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What yeah. about you? I mean, what, what about you? What's meditation to you? Oh damn, man. I mean, to me, meditation is a. Uh, I like sitting on a bench. I don't know what it is, but uh, it, whenever I find a bench outside, I, don't, I, I had this idea of like, you know, this is how God watches us. He like sits on a, he or she sits on a bench and kind of just like, you know, kicks back and like just observes the world. Um, so I, I don't know why. I don't know why that, that connects with me in some kind of way. But yeah, sitting on a bench is one way on, in the outside world. Indoors, um, you know, I spent... I don't know if you know. I, I grew up as an only child, uh, so being, be, hey, yeah, both of us. Both oh yeah. Us. So you know, man. So you know, man. We're, yeah. we're, we're in our heads a lot, and um, oh, yep. and and in a way that that is sort of like meditation, except you know, instead of like letting the thoughts process, we're usually like holding on to them and like you know, r ruminating on them over and over again. Um, so yeah, like breathing definitely is something new that I've been trying to do. Um, it, I don't know if you ever listened to Rogan, but there was a dude on there talking about um, breathing exercises. And like, okay. he, he just said everybody needs to be breathing through their nose at all times. And I'm like, geez, like I, I that that takes a lot of practice. That takes a lot of discipline. I've, I've been trying it out, but it's, it's so hard to. Uh, but I noticed like because he said, you just do it for like a couple minutes. You're going to notice a difference. And it's crazy how much you notice a difference. Like if you really like focus on it so yeah just just those couple things um and you know i i wouldn't consider myself religious you know i'm more uh spiritual in a way but um yeah like prayer you know prayer is a little bit of meditation too you know you you're um you're thinking of things that are affecting your life and trying to let them go so in a way For prayer sure. is meditation as well yeah yeah no i'm i'm big into um like positive affirmations you mm -hmm. know and and being grateful you know thanking god you know thanking buddha uh i i, I uh <laughs> i don't even mean to say it like that but like i fuck with like kuan yen like i don't know if you know who kuan yen is no what is that can you tell me more oh. so kuan yen is like the buddhist queen of mercy word damn yeah. never heard of, never heard of that i gotta look that <laughs> up man so my parents are, are Buddhist. I mean, not like super crazy Buddhist, but they really, my mom like fucks with like Tibetan uh, monks and shit. She's had me blessed a bunch of times. And uh, you know, um, Kuan Yen is this goddess of mercy, right? And I tend to think of like gods and goddesses. They kind of were under their will, right? I feel like, I don't want to say this is a simulation, but they kind of have power over us as physical beings you know what i'm saying i yeah. don't know there's a crazy connection there you know yeah yeah I mean, if, if you watch like marvel like you understand the difference between like iron man and like thor right yeah like, yeah, thor yeah. Is a, thor's a fucking god like iron man's like a person that has this little thing but uh you know kuan yen like it, her shit is crazy she just is like a, a crazy goddess of mercy you know I, I don't know how deep i can get right now I'd have well, to yeah yeah yeah. Uh, i was just, i was just gonna ask why do you why don't you think more people know about kuan yin as much as they know about buddha um because like i mean it's like she's kind of like this badass goddess you know okay. like i think she's more on the like edgy side right like she's one of them like kind of medusa style like i think medusa oh, before shit. she got crazy was like this beautiful awesome person you mm -hmm. know what i mean i think this is kind of kuan yin is kind of like that too like she was this beautiful queen that turned into this crazy goddess and put people under their her spells and shit i think and it's like man like For sure. I, I'd, I'd want that person on my side you know what i'm saying yeah like, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. Goddess of Mercy. That's, that's yeah, who she Quan is. Yeah, Kuan Yen. Kuan Yen. It's I uh -huh. think like in the Chinese Chinese uh, 
script ancestry stuff yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so. all right for sure man uh, thanks thanks for, for dropping some knowledge on me <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no i was bro i'm not gonna lie when you hit me up i, I started looking into it i was super excited because i'm like oh man we can go we're gonna go super deep you know yeah, man. <laughs> no so, doubt yeah uh, and the whole theme of this bro i'm just i'm excited to get into it with you for sure for sure and yeah feel free to flip any questions on me too i like the whole conversation thing um yeah it is more about you but you know if you want me to be a part of it too it's all love no um, i definitely do i mean you and i always cross paths and like i yeah. think there was a few times where we really got to like hang for a minute but like we've never really like tapped in you know and i no, feel yeah. like this gives us a chance to really tap in and i definitely want to like you know keep this going even after this interview bro i would love to help you in any way that i can oh, you know sure, with this or, or other projects i mean you know what i'm doing so yeah uh, i appreciate that we'll, we'll we'll talk we'll talk about it for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. For sure. all right man um so your the third intro question is are you living the dream and if not um uh, what does the dream look like for you yeah yeah i forgot about this question i seen it on both of them yeah 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 uh i mean honestly man like living the dream is a, is a very interesting question for me it's layered right it's, yeah. it's like what is the dream whose dream are we talking about right i got um, you in, in my world like this is reality it's not about living the dream it's about living in reality you know what i'm saying yeah and yeah i've come across the issue not to get crazy i mean honestly to, to answer that in a very simple way, uh, yes, I am living the life that I've created for myself and I'm very fulfilled and I'm very happy. And I know at this point I can continue to grow infinitely because I found this thing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it, I'm not saying it's the video thing. You know, I'm not saying it's this new creative uh, uh, path I'm taking, but I'm starting to combine all these elements from my history and my past and all the things i've fought through for the last six years to now put together my brands to now put together my happiness and be like yo i can be happy now working on my next three to five year plan you know what i mean like yeah i now i've found the time i'm like boom this part in my life now i could do it you know before i was so i was always trying to like skip to a spot and i'm like oh, i don't like this and skip to this spot oh, i don't like this you know what i'm saying your feet aren't really like on the ground so you can't make those like long-term decisions you know what i'm saying yeah man i'm i'm, I'm there right now <laughs> it's funny you mentioned but, that but, yeah, yeah no yeah. it's it's uh uh what did somebody say the other day i was having a really good conversation and they were like dude you uh I, I tried to like I told them a bunch of stories about my past and I'm like dude I'm sorry for venting or like yeah. being negative and they're like nah they're like you're not even being that these are like life-changing experiences that you've had some people would take those experiences and let them like those experiences would stop them from any type of like movement past that right yeah. like then people turn back to working at Starbucks or, you know what I'm saying? Like as a creative, sometimes you just get crushed, you know? Yeah. But yeah. you fucking fight through the fucking dirt and carry yourself back up, you know? Mm -hmm. And you uh, connect and you connect with people. That, that, totally. Yeah. That's the big, biggest. I think, you know, the more, the more shit we go through, it just seems like the more relatable we are to other people, you know, like the people who have it. I mean, I don't know who's had it easy. Everybody got their issues, <laughs> yeah. but, but like, For you sure. know, <laughs> if, um, you know, we have similar paths or we've gone through similar things, it just makes that connection even harder or even stronger. Um, I think they say it's like shared trauma cr creates the strongest connections. So, For sure. For yeah, sure. yeah, it's crazy. No, uh it's uh it, it, it's been an interesting journey right and, and again like back to the question like living the dream um I, i'm living my reality i'm happy as fuck That's still, i'm happy for you man i'm happy you for know what you. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah i'm just fulfilled and i continue to, to when i meditate or like do my affirmations throughout the day and what am i asking the universe for all of a sudden it's happening like I asked the universe or something, not like, oh, hey, universe, I need half a million dollars. But I'm <laughs> like, oh, hey, universe, like I want to start doing interviews. Oh, shit. 34 just hit me on Instagram. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Yeah, okay, okay. And, yeah. And yeah. like 
like I'm shifting from uh, video production, right? I'm still, I'm still editing, I'm still shooting, I'm doing all that. But now I'm also creating like these like Instagram content campaigns for brands. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. Right? And we can talk about that later because yeah. this shit has just like blown my mind, right? When yeah. you think about something like a Twitter or an Instagram as a brand and not a consumer. Mm-hmm. That's, that's right. Yes, it's a whole different lane. Yeah, yeah. A whole, di whole different thing. You ain't on there consuming. You're on there providing, and yeah. you're providing as a brand. Say like a, a restaurant, right? Every mm -hmm. Monday night, I know my favorite restaurant's gonna have that Monday night special. That's mm -hmm. why I go every Monday night. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Instagram. I'm a brand. What should I do? Give them shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Every yeah. Monday, you're gonna give them the same shit every Tuesday. And so I'm building these things and and live in the dream or live in reality all of a sudden i'm at sf roots office and someone comes and they're like hey we need help with our uh, social media brand account yeah yeah i'm like i was just working on it for this other thing you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, like yeah it just starts all of a sudden the universe is like okay i see you here here opportunity here you know yeah yeah uh i'm here so, i'm here yeah, yeah yeah that's been that's been living the dream that's been living reality that's been reaffirming that like you working on your podcast working on these interviews you're like dude this is tight people are hitting me up i'm setting this shit up i'm i'm, I'm i have a schedule built out farther you know what i mean like, yeah yeah i mean that's that's been the wildest thing to me man because uh yeah for me i think my biggest concern just egotistically and like just thinking about what how other people uh, perceive me was just like you know is this just another thing he's gonna try to do and not really follow through with it you know that was the biggest concern for me was like because I've done I've tried to do so many different things and every time I like try to say hey everybody you know check this out and <laughs> I've done that a couple times so I feel like that that kind of takes it take, takes away from it the more I do it you, you feel me like less people are, will believe but honestly man people still still support me and you know hey, those doubts yeah when your passion is bigger than your fear of what people think of you that's when you become successful that's gotcha. when you're in my eyes that's when you're living your dream is when you're like i'm so passionate about what i'm doing right now i don't even care about those people because i'm making content that makes me feel good makes my guests feel good and it makes my viewers feel good you know what i mean yeah yeah and that's no you already know that's why you're doing it you're doing this to make people feel good right hell yeah man hell yeah um this is this is all for you guys if anything you know like i i don't know if you got my welcome letter but the most selfish thing about yeah. this for me is because i'm taking your time and i'm getting to know you that's that's really what my goals are and like yeah, that's the most selfish thing about it. But other than that, man, it's for everybody else. And hopefully, you know, people are getting something out of it. And I think we all have that need to, like, get to know the people we're with, like, especially just strangers in the world. So, you know, this is a way for people to get to know each other. It'd be it's dope as fuck, you know? For sure. Let, yeah. me, let me ask you one question. Yeah. How do you feel doing this? It feels amazing, man. Um, it it uh it shot up as far as like priority wise in my life. Like you know, my priority was that day job, and then as soon as this podcast like came into my map, in my, into my mind, and it started becoming more of a reality. The more I, I I looked into it and tried to find out how to do it, and now it feels like when I'm doing it, just this conversation, setting this up, it it feels like I'm at home. You know, like this is what I should be doing all the fucking time. And yeah. um, it, it frustrates me when when other things outside of my life kind of gets in the way of it, you know, like or keeps me from from doing it. Um, and it's weird because I don't think I, I've had something like that in my life as far as like where like, nah, it doesn't matter what I'm doing today. I need to go make sure I'm here at this time to, to make this happen, you know, like uh, so. Dude, but you've been doing it. I mean, you got six. You got six shows up right now on the channel. I'm yeah, sure you got yeah. a couple in the can that you're about to put out. You're probably at almost like 10, dog. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. 
uh but yeah like for me even 10 like that's the thing 10 like i'm not numbering my episodes because i don't yeah. it's not about the how many num- like episodes that come out with you know i yeah, just i yeah. just wanted to be the per- like how many people can i get on there and i haven't i haven't put this out, uh, out on facebook yet because that's one of the places where i feel like i've always kind of said hey everybody look at what i'm doing um <laughs> and i want i wanted to wait until like i got like maybe 34 episodes up and i could be like boom i know I, i've been quiet about it and this is what it is and like you know just in case y'all thought this or that even though that's me putting my thoughts on other people though i know they're not thinking that but uh sure. yeah it's more like a trying to prove it to myself at that at that point but um yeah man this it's an amazing feeling um i hope i hope i can like if i can just do this for the rest of my life it, even with a day job or whatever but i just made time to interview somebody once a day then damn my, my life is fulfilled you know like <laughs> it's crazy it's a crazy feeling dog that's i think that's a very achievable goal right on it's right there and, yeah. and definitely you know what i'm saying when you get there i mean you're, you're here but when you really get there pat yourself on the back make sure to tell yourself good job you know what i mean because you're gonna get there pretty soon i feel like I and pretty that. soon i mean like i'd say you know what i'm saying two years something you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. Five <laughs> less yeah yeah no <laughs> um, no it's a grind it's a grind yeah but i think when the way that you present this show and the way that you carry yourself as a host um i'm i'm sure you know you put yourself in the in the ears of the right people you're gonna get some offers coming in because we're gonna start seeing a lot of shows pop up with all this you know everybody's okay now we can all hop out of covid land you know yeah, yeah. but i know <laughs> for sure i mean you're a smart kid dude and and you know a lot about a bunch of stuff and a lot of people would be happy to have you on, on hosting their show you know what i'm saying dude i mean that that would be an honor you know as far as like if anybody reached out to me to do do something like that um because you know that's that's my dream and if it happens it happens but if it doesn't i'm gonna make it happen for myself regardless uh, hey, you know? hey meditate on it bro manifest it yeah see yeah i got you i got you uh but yeah man yo we we going through this conversation we haven't even gotten past the intro questions I'm which is cool which is bad, good no 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 don't 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 say sorry <laughs> about it man this is good conversation it's good flow and uh and this is part of the growth of the the project too you know when yeah. i first when i first did it i was jumping straight into the questions without even doing any intro and yeah. um you know things didn't feel right and i was like yo maybe i need to set the tone warm it up a little bit and yeah so if if i have guests that come on that want to like take the conversation the way they want to it's that's that's even better because then it's like a it's a special episode you know it's not like the other ones so yeah i'm I'm all with it man all with it and i i I really appreciate the way you set it up like you're like i got these questions but i'm gonna randomly hit you with them yeah um, (laughs) and see how people react differently i really like that because it is creating unique shows you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. dude you again you're doing you're killing it bro you're killing it you know what i mean right on man right that 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 definitely came from a lot of uh i didn't start listening to podcasts heavy until this new job because it's a driving job and so i'm mm-hmm. on the road all the time and uh, it. when i so i i'll just listen to podcasts and i'm like okay when i was coming up with the concept I'm like what well, how can i make this a little different you know just a little yeah. twist to it and yeah. uh yeah 34 it was a number and i'm like cool choose a number between 134 every interview is going to be a little bit different you know so then that's yeah it worked out <laughs> it's hey, working nah, out i appreciate that um yeah i'm sorry you're not closer i got some of these uh, white chocolate Reese's cups right here though. oh how's that are these, they i haven't tried that yet <laughs> these are smack dog these are smack i got some I'm a little sweet tooth. I'll be having oh. too much candy, dog. Oh, I feel you. I feel you. Dog, my, my girl got mad at me because I bought like a five pound bag of gummy bears last night. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and she's like, what are you, you going to finish this? And I'm like, it's not, not for tonight. It's for like, you know, a month or something, you know, yeah, <laughs> like spread it out. Got a little bit every day. I, I missed it though. It, it felt like a long time since I ate gummy bears. I have a big sweet tooth as well. Um, I don't yeah. know if you've seen those peanut butter cups. Where it's like peanut butter on the outside and peanut butter on the inside. Reese's just came out with those, so there's no more what? chocolate. Like, yeah, it's, it, it's, they still do chocolate, but it's a specialty one where it's all peanut butter. And I'm all like, damn, all right, I gotta try that too. 
I'm gonna look for that one for show next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to like have snacks and shit. Like, I, I I always thought about doing some kind of like taste testing different snacks and shit, but you know, I couldn't figure out like how long I wanted it to be. Like, what was I really talking about? You know, what makes a difference? So, I don't know. That's different ideas for different things. You know, <laughs> might have to be our first project, dog. The fucking this fucking snack review. Yeah, man. Like, cause. <laughs> That'd be dope as hell, man. That'd be dope as hell. Um, but yeah, let's let's just get through the intro. See if we can get to these thirty-four. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what what would you like your descendants to know about you? And the way I kind of frame this question is like, you know, for me personally, there's a point in my life where I feel like I was trying to discover who I am, and I always thought about like, yo, I wonder what my ancestors were like. You know, were they mm-hmm. anything like me? You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. If think five generations down the road, you got a descendant that's trying to figure out who they are, you know, how could you tell them like, yo, this is who I who I was, you know, to help guide you a little bit. I mean, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. Like I said earlier, I've been through some weird, crazy stuff in my life and I think I finally came to a point where I can be completely honest with myself and be open with people around me you know Mm -hmm. and I think having the purest intention towards life towards your life you know with yourself starting with yourself having being open and honest with yourself and having pure intentions with yourself about what you want to do and how you want to be successful Mm -hmm. you know and um I mean I'm, I'm nervous about the future, you know, if I'm being mm. honest, you know, with everything that's going on, I'm nervous. Like I hear, you know, my mom say crazy shit about, you know, I, I don't have any children myself. I'd like some sooner or later, you know, but yeah, yeah. she, you know, moms be tripping and, you know, she's just like, well, I'm glad you're not having any children to bring into this crazy world now. You know, she's just, she thinks it's going to get worse, you know? And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, how do you feel about about the future and like five generations? I mean, we're talking. Yeah. Oh, it's a generation every twenty five years, give or take. Give right, or take. thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about one hundred and fifty years down the line. That's that's fucking. Yeah, man. I mean, like the future. <laughs> the future seems seems crazy, right? Um, I got I got a lot of hope. I got a lot of optimism still, even. Even when we see these mega corporations just continue to like own more and more and more things, and you know, it just seems like they have control over where where we're going, which is the scary thing I think, in, in my opinion, is that there's people out there who who are who are discovering the power of the internet. You know, the internet was so like you know young, and it still is young, right? Like from the 80s, 90s, and, and but then now it's like they're up hip to the game, and they're like, oh shit, you know this this thing is really how we're going to control everything going forward. You know, it's not owning property as much, but in, like it's owning the internet, which there's a company out there that owns a lot of the internet. Uh, but yeah, so that's a, that's a deep, that's a deep thing right there. The whole internet and power on the internet. And bro, yeah. I, I mean, uh, you know, right now stocks are super hot and crypto is super hot, right? And yeah. we're definitely like, I think you and I are in a time where this the crypto is just barely tiny getting started. And, and if we get into this now, we can really actually make some money in the long run, I think. Crypto. Fingers crossed, man. You know, <laughs> this isn't, yeah, what does my guy say? This isn't financial advice. This is not financial advice, just suggesting. But, uh, um, uh, shoot, what were we talking about? You're talking about crypto. And, uh, uh, yeah. And stuff. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you're talking about shady people on the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my boy sent me a thing this morning that some people um, like faked some Kathy Woods video, who's this huge investor. She owns ARK and ARK F, um, which are ETFs. If you guys don't know, we'll do another video on stocks. But yeah, yeah. Uh, um, no, they faked this Kathy Woods video and they were asking for donations. Oh, for Bitcoin, shit. Right? In coins? Asking, like, yeah, Bitcoin. Oh, point, sh- you can donate point one Bitcoin, and we'll give you like two or three back. Yeah, right. We'll yeah. like double your money. They were saying there's this whole thing. That's um, not, yes, and, dude. They had the page up for 24 hours. They made 40 grand, and then they they kind of got caught and took everything down. And this was a fake video. It's like a deep fake. 
Of the lady. I mean, no, no, no. It oh. was really like Kathy Woods, but they stole the video oh. and played it on YouTube. And I there gotcha. was like links that people would click on the link and say, oh, to be a part of this like raffle or giveaway or blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Investment group. I forgot exactly what it was, but just straight lies. Yeah. Just... That's, oh my God. Uh, you know, this, this reminds me of something that just happened recently. Um, so my pops, you know, he, he was watching local news and it was mm -hmm. just something, right? And then I was like, you know, I, I, sometimes I feel bad because, you know, I have to, like, let him know what's going on, like, for real, for real. And I showed him, like, that Sinclair video that went viral a couple years ago when they showed all the local channels using the same script and they were talking the same way. And, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I showed him that video and, like, I could tell, like, for him, it, it made him feel really, really bad. It made him feel like, who could we trust you know like he didn't really put it into words but he just gave me that look in his eye like damn I, i've been fooled or like you know i've been fooled for a long time and i'm just like i, I just told him you know now nowadays you just got to find your own sources and you got to like you know make sure you do your own research f for a lot of things and for my pops he's not like you know technologically savvy or anything so he does depend yeah. on like tv and he depends on local channels and he was like even cnn is like this and i'm like who knows you know like cnn is part of a big corporation too for and, but, sure for sure but for him that's like the like he thought that was the one that was the purest is cnn you feel me and i'm just like so yeah i don't know sometimes how much i should tell my folks about these things but i can see him getting affected by it like i i hate how much like my apps know me you know like as far as like you know they show the advertisements fuck man like yeah i think that shit is useful yeah i think that like that's a good price and maybe i should and it, i mean i'm one of those people man like if at, the more i see it i'm eventually gonna be like fuck it that doesn't look cool i'm gonna I'm a cop that um so <laughs> i just add more data into the algorithm on like how to how to get me to purchase but um yeah, and I know that happens to my folks because now they're asking me, like, they see an ad, they're like, yo, can you cop this for me? And then I'm like, are you sure you want this? Like, are you 100% sure? <laughs> and then, you know, I'm, I haven't set them up on Amazon or nothing. So I'm like, I'm glad that, you know, they, they, they can't just do it themselves real quick or anything. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. That's dangerous. It's happening, man. Um, but I am optimistic, man, as far as, like, these kids and a lot of us like we're talking about it you know we're making it be known as long as we're not silenced and like even though we're not on tv because they won't let us be on there or like mainstream media talking about these things we're talking about it with with uh, like parents are telling their kids you know and like it's it's just that communication needs to continue happening so you know it gets passed on and these kids are aware because i know a lot of kids who don't fuck with facebook or they you know they they see what's fake and they're just they just cut it off off. I forgot what I was listening to, but it was more so the older folks, the seniors right now, who are getting taken advantage more than it was the teenagers just like 10 years ago. So, yeah, yeah I mean, these kids are, are learning, and but TikTok <laughs> is, <laughs> is a whole new thing, and you know, I don't know what's going to come after that, but yeah, TikTok is one of those things that I know it's from, I think, China, you know, China created it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, so, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a whole nother agenda in itself, you know, like you got governments who who have the power to to create yeah. these apps now. And it could be, you know, for I don't know what the reason is. I'm pretty sure it's not just because they enjoy seeing people do stupid shit like in 10 seconds, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> all the dance. I mean, if you enjoy it, like like that's all for you. That's cool. Sorry. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I guess I'm just too old nowadays to get that enjoyment out of the same thing. But um, what, what sucks is that they're building on community, man. They're building on people who want to be a part of something bigger. And like they're showing like, you know, and that's the thing that they're taking that core, that like pure um, connection that we, we strive for. And they're like manipulating it so they can get what they want. And and it's a if if you feel that way about it, then, you know, like it, it just makes you feel a lot like more a little more depressed just because you see what's dominating. So, yeah. That's that's where I see the future, man. <laughs> Bruh, uh, did you see the social dilemma on Netflix? No, I haven't. I haven't. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that changed my whole. That flipped my lid. I was like, whoa! Like they break down. It's like a documentary with a 
kind of like produce story weaved into it you know but it's about how you know how powerful these things are you know like mm. how how heavily influenced children are with these and how it influences our emotions and our positives versus negatives and how the neurons are firing and all these things you know what i'm saying it's yeah, insane, yeah. You know? but yeah, yeah we, i don't want to yeah, yeah no. <laughs> no worries no worries um but yeah, yeah uh it's a, it is it is a social dilemma you know dude and it's it's a problem when when it's affecting children's emotions they're supposed to be happy i mean dude come on you're supposed to be happy dude Kids, like what you gotta worry about you ain't got rent you ain't got taxes or a mortgage or like you know you ain't got to pay for food <laughs> yeah yeah and you know like i was i was uh there was moments in my life when i was bullied as a kid so mm-hmm. I can't imagine what it'd been like if that shit followed me home, you know, and was just yeah. constantly in my face. I think that's the biggest thing because I have a soft spot for for kids who are get, who get bullied and like, yeah, man, you can, and then you got those motherfuckers making fake accounts just to fuck with you more, and it's just like, yeah, where 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 does it stop, you know? Um, ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I just hope the parents are out there and like really involved with their kids, like mentally, you know. And you gotta yeah. take care of your kids, not just like with the physical stuff, but you gotta talk to them, and hopefully hey, they're good. open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk with your kids. Be close with your kids. Like, be cool with your kids. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I don't have kids myself, so I don't know how much of a challenge yeah. this really is. But with with my best friends, with a lot of my friends' children, I'm pretty close with them. You know yeah. what I mean? And I try to be close with them. And, and some of the older ones, like my little goddaughter, is like 19, working at Starbucks at fucking 4:30 in the morning. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you know, talk to your, yeah, exactly. Talk to your kids, engage yeah. with your kids, be and, happy with your kids. And it's cool, right? It's cool when you see kids grow too, man. Like, you know, and, uh, you can see their personalities develop. I think that's the biggest thing about parenthood, man. Like you get to see a fucking person like become themselves almost, you know, and Dude. you're there to help guide them if you can. Um, but yeah, it's, it is a trip, man. And like, I, when I talk to like 12, I would say 12, 13, 14 year olds now, um, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're into their heads for sure. And like, you know, like, I don't know if I was thinking the same way. Maybe mm-hmm. I was, and I, I'm not, mm-hmm. wasn't tripping, but yeah, they, they got something to say and they got these, these thoughts that need to be shared as well. I haven't had any like, you know, kids come on to the show, but I would love to like interview kids as well. Just so, you know, people know what the youth are thinking because not everybody's listening to them you know so you want to talk about pure thoughts and pure intentions talk with the kid under 12 years old you know what i'm saying talk with the kid under 11 that's they're so pure and they're so just they want to tell you exactly how they feel and exactly what they think you know what i'm saying they want to and it's crazy when they tell them tell me like oh you know i like talking to you because i can't talk like this to my with my parents or something or like you know all those other things i'm just like like, you can though you can yeah 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 damn uh my, my video is still going um yeah, yeah. just want to let you uh get to the fifth question and it is how well do you know yourself on like and if it's hard to put into words you could do a scale from one to ten you know i would say uh, i would say i know myself too well i would too say well. i'm too comfortable with myself and i've been told that multiple times that i'm too comfortable with myself I got you. I think I know what you mean. Yeah. Bruh, I mean, I, I, I'm a weird dude. I'm a weird dude. Embrace it. Embrace it. And that's what I'm saying. Within the last, I'd say within the last like four years, I've really started looking in the mirror and just being like, who are you? Right. Who are you? And I'm like, okay, I'm this, I'm this young creative, um, that that's trying to find his way. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, and, and and I've been I've been given opportunities, and I've and I've seen doors open, where I believe you know the universe is like, okay, g- get going, you know, <laughs> get going. Yeah. But I think just with everything that I've been through, with you know friends and ex friends and ex girlfriends, and now going through with my parents, like it's just really almost forcing me to 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 know who I am. You know what I'm saying, and to be yeah. proud of that to own that you know um and i think the more for me the more that i know myself and that i'm comfortable with myself i can make better life decisions you know what sure I mean? yeah and again 
this is all part of these things that I told you was happening in my life is when I think of something or I meditate on something and I'm trying to be like passionate about it. And then all of a sudden I see these, these doors open, these opportunities open or these ideas pop into my head and I have to write something down and I don't even think about it at the time. But then I look at that notebook two, three weeks later, I'm like, oh my God, I just took that one little line and created this fucking, you know, painting or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, though? yeah, I um, do. I do know what you so, mean. So yeah, when you, when you ask that question, I mean, for me, just for me, and again, I'm a weird dude. I'm learning that I'm on the far end of the spectrum when it comes to those kind of things. It's like, well, yeah. how well do you know yourself? I'm like, dude. I know I'm going to fucking wake up at this time. I'll probably do all this, but like really what I want to do is edit or what I want to do is create, you know, create, create, create. And, and then I never end up doing that. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I, I knew I was going to do that. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. But also, you know, yeah. it, it's a, it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing, accepting who you are, you know, mm -hmm. um, and accepting your past mistakes and accept, accepting all that from your past and, still being okay with yourself you know i think swallowing that pill and being like you know what i can still wake up tomorrow and go hard and that's what that is <laughs> you know i don't know no no and no. that's a hard thing that's a really i know that is a hard thing to get out of your head you know? but no for sure the more you know yourself and the more you're confident with that person and have accepted that person then you'll be happy answering that question you know yeah I think that's the key to happiness, man, is knowing yourself. Because, um, yeah, you can be happy without knowing yourself, but then what happens when the happiness is gone? You know, like, how are you going to get it back? Do you know what made you happy? Um, yeah, those those kind of things is uh, what I think is important that people should know, or why people should know themselves. And, uh, well, and so not to cut you off, but the main yeah. question to me, the main question is what do you want? Like, like 34, when you wake up in the morning, what do you want? What are you going to work towards? Right? Yeah. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people are, are so caught up in the matrix, caught up in their nine to five. Oh, I'm a account manager at this great big firm. And I, I go there and clock in and do this. And I'm like, so when do you get to like really be yourself? Oh, like on the weekends when I'm home having a glass of wine or something, you know, and I'm like, okay, so when are you like yourself productively, you know, like, are you creating anything? You know, you know, and some people are just so caught, caught in it. Yeah, um, I don't know if you saw it on in in the. I think I left it inside the document. Probably didn't. But uh, have you ever heard of the nine types of geniuses? It's not there. Uh, it's not there. I just checked. I've heard you. I think I've heard you. Did you mention that on a past one? I did. I mentioned it. Um, but <laughs> it's like you know a, a little homework thing. That's why I took it away because I, I didn't want people to feel like, oh damn, I gotta read this thing. It, but, it was uh, from the first episode, right? You probably. did it on the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that that nine types of genius thing. That's a, that's something that I I totally believe in as far as for everybody. Everybody mm -hmm. has has something that they just gravitate towards. You know, something that just clicks easily for them and that's the thing that like as far as school has taught us or society has taught us that you know there's only a certain amount of things that can bring you success um mm -hmm. yeah and like you said knowing yourself too well um i don't you know i don't think there's a, such a thing honestly uh that but that brings me back to those nine types of geniuses is where you, you know you could be a part of that intrapersonal genius you know type you know that the kind of person who wants to get to know themselves because not everybody does too man and like you know some people just are, are content you know in the action versus the, the thinking side you know and that's why we have different roles and we have you know different we all play different pieces to the puzzle um but yeah man like I, if you haven't checked that out i'll send you a link afterwards just so you know and you can spread the word on it because <laughs> i'm sure yeah. there's people who need it too yeah, shoot me that. And it sounds like it's kind of, it does have some, some spiritual elements to it, right? I mean, nine mm -hmm. geniuses, it's got to be a pretty diverse kind of list with people that are uh, experts or skilled or, you know what I mean, yeah. have certain uh, abilities, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, I would love to read that. I, lo I love reading. I I'm a huge fan of reading now, and I've never been a fan of reading for like the past 37 years of my life. <laughs> no, I feel you, man. Uh, any books you read recently that you would recommend? 
Dude, uh, so I'm not like reading like nonfiction stuff. Like right now I'm doing, a, I was reading like a digital uh, strategy book that was really good, really simple to read. Oh, um, interesting. Yeah. yeah. And it, it got into like how to use social media, like for just basic stuff, but it builds up, yeah. you know, and how you create like Facebook campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it also talked about Instagram and how... <clears throat> again how like you heard uh how to look at instagram as a uh brand and not a consumer yeah. um and so for me just it's it's been really interesting because like my mom threw all these books at me like five years ago and i never touched them and then i started cleaning out my closet and found like two like diamonds and i'm like oh my god this book looks sick so i started diving into them you know about like social media marketing yeah yeah and i'm like I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm building all this stuff just like off of YouTube tutorials and like forums and figuring out like what other people would do. And like, I find these books and it's just like totally reiterating what I'm doing. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, that's, that's crazy. Sad. That's from five years ago, right? Dude, like, yeah, now no. they, they, they pop up out of nowhere. That's what's dude. up. Yeah, no, life is life is interesting like that. But those are the kind of stuff. I mean, it's, it's nerdy stuff, bro. It's not like, oh, yeah. you know, fucking... <laughs> the shoe the shoe dogs one uh, uh shoe dog the owner of nike has a really good book that i like um, oh for sure yeah 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 and there are some other ones i don't know who don't talk to them it's all good it's all good um, I, I try to read man i try to read too but i feel like i, I read more articles if anything like hey then you know what read anything bro read yeah. articles yeah you're 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 gaining knowledge you're empowering yourself like hell yeah oh for sure for sure uh, all right, so this is the last question in the intro. It's nice. Called, it's, uh, what's your jam, man? Like, you know, you, you go into the club where you, you're trying to set the tone for yourself for the work day. You know, what, what, what's your go-to? So right now, my go-to is this playlist on Apple Music called okay. Instrumentals. It's just and instrumentals? It's, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. It's just instrumentals, and it's fucking like some, like, jazzy like hip hop influence stuff or like maybe there's like a little more like up tempo stuff but like like it just like levels me out and i'm just all of a sudden i'm just like thinking you know what i'm saying it's That's not none of this like, yeah. like i like drake i mean i know everybody's but like drake's got a dope sound too because it's not this like well some of his songs but it's not this like crazy like rah, 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 or this super low like da, da, da. you just want something like right there in the middle that can even you out yeah, you yeah. Know, so when you do jump into the booth or you, or you jump into the, the you know app or um you know whatever you do you, you paint whatever you want to be balanced you know what i mean uh, for me this is just my my thing mm -hmm. but i just yeah, yeah. i just really want to come back down and be calm and and have my heart beating at a good pace you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um but so yeah that the, the beastrumentals <coughs> excuse me and then uh what else was it going oh and this sounds so cliche but the the uh the old uh weekend album is still still kind of on my on my list right now okay okay for yeah. sure yeah yeah <laughs> you like that ovo ovo sound man <laughs> i mean who doesn't you yeah, know yeah. Not, you know what? they got a formula they got a formula oh. man yeah they, they know what they're doing out there 100 uh, <laughs> i mean didn't like and i'm such a like I used to be a DJ and into all that shit, and now oh, I'm shit. just so not. But uh, Drake just dropped uh, a couple songs, three songs or he something. He did. He did. Uh, one yeah. of them was What's Next, Lemon Pepper Chicken with uh, Rick yeah. Ross. And uh, <laughs> some. I forgot the other one, but yeah. he. he I, shit, man. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, no, no, I just realized. Uh, have you ever heard of DJ Yaji? DJ Yaji? Yaji? Y A E J I. Nah. Oh, I'm, dog. I'm saving this, that right now. Yeah. This album right here. I don't know if you can see it, but she got a she got an album from 2019. It's this electronic album. I I fucked with it. I fucked with it. DJ but, Y A what? Y. I mean, I I guess it could just be uh Y A E J I Yaji Yaji. It's very creative, bro. Like okay. That's the that's the other thing. I try to like. I try to listen to a wide range of music, bro. Like, I'd be knocking the Beatles, dog. You can jump in my car and we're knocking the Beatles. And you're like, okay. And then, like, we, we jump in the next time I'm, I'm knocking, like, Childish Gambino. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Or, like, like uh, uh, what was the one I just re-downloaded? The uh, Jay-Z Linkin Park album. Oh, that, high that theory, is, yeah, yeah. That is so retarded to me. And then we can knock, like, uh, uh, 
you know, Kanye's, uh, I feel like Pablo or something, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I'm, I'm bouncing yeah. around. Uh, nah, for um, sure. I feel like for a lot of creatives, man, we just go whatever the mood says. And that's the thing with music, man. Like the music has that formula too. Don't like, you know, the four like uh, notes that is in every song or whatever. Like, you, the, uh, oh shit. What is it? Not 482. Hold on. There's a, there's a, a rhythm that you can set your pitch to. You heard about this? It was like oh, 440 no, versus I didn't four, know. Oh shit. But they got that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the the science behind music is crazy. Yeah. You've seen the things where the, the speakers laid flat with liquid on it. And and when they when they play the beats, it makes this beautiful, these beautiful things. Have you I think seen I've that? seen that. I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that that is out of control. There's a you know Bobby McFerrin? You ever heard that name? yeah 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 he did a ted talk where he had the i don't know if you've seen it but he does this thing with the crowd where like he just tells one side to do like make one note he tells the other side to do another note and then yeah. like he and then yeah he just moves his arms up and down for the crowd to like make this song and he's like wherever i go whichever presentation i'm doing everybody gets it like that like you know it just connects i'm like damn it man that's so genius like <laughs> just made a song from from all the, everybody in the crowd yo so here real quick i found it so it's it's 432 hertz right 432 432 they used to tune music to 432 because they say that's like the beat of the earth that's the beat of your heartbeat like everything falls back under this 432 hertz i just looked it's it up like, man i see it bruh, i see it. <laughs> if, if we talk about music in the way music influences you if you listen to some wild shit, that's gonna fuck up the the, the molecules in your body. Your shit's gonna look like like a, uh, a TV screen, that black and white salt and pepper shit, right? But you yeah. want your shit to have some nice designs, right? And that 432, when they play that on those speakers with the liquid dog, it just makes these beautiful designs, dog. And then they play 440, and it's like not, it's not, not the same. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like this this very. Uh, you know perfect looking thing you know it's like a it's like a snowflake almost right looking oh, kind of thing shit. where you're just like yo that's like some sacred geometry kind of shit you know sacred geometry man that's yeah. a whole nother topic to talk about i know you know man i know you know <laughs> i don't want to know we're still trying to get through we still trying yeah, to yeah. We don't get too deep but yeah no that's that whole thing you're saying so what you bump in you can tell for me at least i could tell when people aren't listening to the right music for themselves because they're they're, you know they're always a little jumpy or, or anxious or something you know like, yeah put, put on some smooth music take a couple take some deep breaths take 10 deep breaths you know what i'm saying get back to that that place that's okay you know yeah yeah so yeah bro for sure for sure so. y'all i've been uh we're, we're almost getting to the close to the hour uh <laughs> and it, don't don't apologize this has been a great conversation and um i like how you know when guests just take over the conversation too man like this is i'm glad you brought that energy and that you know you ran with it the way you wanted to since you've seen the episodes you know how things go and uh but yeah man much love but you know i do want you to just choose one number to see what the universe kind of like you know wants you to answer real yep. quick so yeah, yeah one one of 34 man just give me one 11. number 11, 11. 11, but, 11. And, and i didn't even mean i mean we can go through like hot like just quick uh you know what i'm saying ask a question i give a fast answer if you oh want no no like no we, we take our time here man we don't <laughs> we don't want to like um you know we don't want to push through any quality you know just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's all about quality over quantity f for me at least uh this one's gonna be kind of deep man and uh you oh, know you've been so sure. open uh with you know what you've been talking about uh so let me know if it's too deep or like you know you don't you would wish, want to try something else but uh this one is how have you disappointed yourself how much to, okay okay we got like five minutes left or something go for it and i'll let you know if we uh we we run over <sighs> i mean first of all i think i think the conversation has been great bro like like thank you so much for bringing me on and i'm i'm, I'm glad however it went if you're happy with it i'm happy absolutely with it. yeah yeah um uh you know positivity in my life is very important right now right creating positive thoughts right overcoming negative thoughts creating positive thoughts turning those positive thoughts into words words become actions blah 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 but 
as far as like disappointing myself, man, I, you know, and, and, and the, like, again, for your viewers, for the followers, for everybody watching this shit, we all go through it. You know what I mean? As happy as I sound and as fun as I sound, I've, I've, my, my name has been run through the mud. People have, have smacked me in the face, not, not physically, but like in, in a, in a startup world or whatever. And yeah, yeah. You know, the way I've, I've, I've disappointed myself is I've continued to kind of let those things happen and almost lightweight, let myself be taken advantage of as a creator, you know, I got you. Um, I when, got you. You, when you do put out those pure intentions and when you do come off as that positive, energetic, happy person, some people take that the wrong way. Um, some people also tend to look down on those kind of people in my experience like dude why is he always happy you know what i'm saying why is he always happy fuck that fool or like why is this fool always like standing up for himself he verbally you know what i'm saying and, yeah. and uh I, I just like for a long time i just and, and i this might be part of being an only child but mm -hmm. you know i just wanted people to, to like me i wanted to be a part of a, a crew a part of a pack you know part of a team you know what yeah. i'm saying like you yeah. ain't got brothers and sisters so you that's what you look for um Absolutely. and i've you know i've put myself in positions where I, I i get in too deep and i realize either the people aren't as genuine as i say they are or the people aren't out to help me become successful you know what i'm saying it's yeah. more like i'm there for them um and i and i love being there for people though you know what i'm saying yeah. like like from now yeah. on bro you need anything i got you all all it is is a call away you know what i'm saying or a text whatever you feel comfortable with but so many people have put me in a place where i've I, i've happily gone you know what i mean and now that i look back i'm like you idiot i'm like all you had to do was like one little thing to mm -hmm. set that standard but you continue to bang your head over you know yeah yeah man so um just to to phrase that whole thing up but now i you know i got the brand coming out you know i got my my whole like confidence in being an independent creative and now my whole confidence in the people that i'm bringing around mm -hmm. or that, that are actually pulling me in and talking about legit opportunities you know yeah so um yeah yeah just to wrap that up but i mean we could we could talk about my disappointments forever <laughs> i mean thank you for opening up man i know Word. yeah you know you're talking about that as far as like the energy that you you want to strive to bring and that i feel like you do bring right um yeah. i think it's similar to what i tried to do too uh and yeah i i feel like there's a lot of people out there who I guess it's just not for them, you know, like that's how I, how, how I feel about it. You know, people can second guess me all the time or think I'm I, I'm up to something just because, you know, I'm, I'm a nice guy or, you know, I want the best for, for other people. And I, sometimes I say it and maybe my actions don't follow through with it. But I feel like, you know, that's because just because I, I had to take care of shit for myself. You know, it's not it's not that I didn't care. It was just that, you know, there's there's just something that i had to do and but like I, I still that energy is still there you know like i'm i'm saying it I'm, those affirmations i'm putting out there even if it is for if it is for other people uh but yeah man i, I totally understand how like Bruh, yeah go ahead nobody nobody should look down on you for taking care of you first right yeah. nobody should look down on you or talk down on you about you taking care of you first right you should be first so that you know hey i'm good right now now i could take care of you because if i'm not good and i'm trying to take care of someone else come on bro. yeah it's it's, it's hard man it's hard isn't i see a lot of people do that right a lot of people oh. try to help help other people when before they can help themselves and you know I, I i respect it but i also can see how detrimental it is you know and from a, I think that's something you learn as you get older, you know, like, oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. When you're in, like, for me, I would say it was in my twenties when I just felt like, you know, I think I was being mo the most selfish in my twenties, but even when I was younger, um, like that's when I felt like it was more pure and I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck me, man. Like, I just want to like, whatever's best for other people. Like, I don't care if, you know, I don't get that or whatever. And I think I used to tell myself as long as everybody else is happy, I'll be okay. Um, and that's changed that's changed a little bit to be honest um, Yo, your so, happiness is the most important thing in your universe 
in our corner, right? In our corner of the universe, for sure. That's <laughs> yeah. what I was No, in, in your universe, not the big universe. You got your own universe, and I got that's my true. universe. That's and true. Everybody else got their own little universes. Yeah, And yeah. that's all we got at the end of the day. That's all we got is our universe. And no one else can see things like we see it in our universe. But at the end of the day, we got to take care of that universe in order then to then expand to other universes. It's a whole Jerry Seinfeld Wale thing about the Earth. I don't know if you remember that album, but I don't. But <laughs> I need to listen to that. I'm very curious about how how that conversation is. It a conversation or is it just like clips? Uh, I mean, they're they're like Wale. Wale has an album and it was all like themed around Seinfeld. I remember like, that. I remember the pic. Yeah. Like he had a. It was it two albums or just that one where the pictures of him I, and his feet and his shoes with the yeah. The cast. I think it I was just that. the one, but okay. like throughout that album, I think he opens up with like a conversation with Seinfeld and then throughout that album they have little snippets and things and what, and what they're talking about right because they're yeah. talking about being in love and getting married and like Seinfeld's like oh you know it's like you know you got your little planet and then the girl you meet has her little planet and he's like when y'all when y'all getting married he's like that's when the planets get the closest so one can hop over to the other planet you know and I'm just using universe yeah, yeah. the same kind of way as he is yeah he yeah is, yeah but, you know when when you know for me when i put my mind into that perspective um i have my own universe i'm responsible for that universe. yeah no one else is responsible for that and i need to take care of that if i don't take care of that my universe is gonna suck yeah yeah but that's a whole that's a whole nother that's a whole nother thing but. yeah for everybody out there listening man maybe you check that on episode two with shania <laughs> you know we, Yo. i feel like we got a lot of things to talk about yeah uh, but yeah. yeah we can definitely schedule another call i mean i know we were supposed to get into those questions and i apologize I'm hey talking. man nah don't like i said don't apologize this was a great conversation regardless there was questions within the questions you know and yep. it was like it was different man so yeah so much love much love nice. um yeah uh good, i guess i would ask you if you have any shout outs for anybody um before we wrap it all up uh dude i gotta i gotta damn i don't got any stickers right here i gotta shout out my my folks over at gw smoke break um that's my show you can find us on instagram and youtube um we're doing big things this year again uh working with the, uh, some of the clients from last year uh but yeah gw smoke breaks my main thing right now for sure um also just uh got pulled in to work real closely with like sf roots um mm -hmm. the morris and the, and the folks over there awesome so shout out sf roots um shout out to my folks over here i do got a sticker right here stay diff i don't know if you know who stay diff is out here in oakland but... nah i don't i like that dose stay diff <laughs> stay diff yeah they just they just finished the logo for no don't stop um i just i just dropped that because i just i had I had to pay for it before i got you I, before i announced it but uh, <laughs> we got we got the brand coming out which is, is pretty much just like video production and content consulting um and that's just me and my, my other boy right now for sure. um but uh but yeah man um who else i'm probably missing someone else i feel so bad shout yeah. out to the boys uh sf canna uh pot ones all the folks over there i'm doing a lot of cannabis content right now that's sick um, i mean yo man it's a growing industry and you know, it's the perfect place for like good energy to be at to be honest because um when i was starting this podcast i hit up all my folks at urban farm first because i know how yeah. we be i know yeah. how like we, we like having d deep conversations and you know be talking about the world and whatnot um so yeah man like that's a whole nother thing why cannabis has a bad rep and hopefully that's that's you know it's breaking we're breaking those uh, barriers you feel me no, a hundred percent. And I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I know we're 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 uh, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's okay, you guys. Like it's okay to create content around your brand if you have a cannabis brand. And and I'm, I I mean, we're we're in the 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 spot that everyone's looking at. We're in the Bay Area. We're in San Francisco. People are looking at us to see how to do this stuff or see what's gonna happen. You know. Um, yeah. It's okay now, you guys. It's okay to, to make some dope content. Show off your products. To show off your flower or concentrates or whatever it is. Show it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. Yeah. And then following that, uh, check out my Instagram, and I'll, I'll take care of you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No worries. No worries, man. What's your Instagram? Uh, yeah. What's your Instagram? Uh, right now, it's just at underscore Shanye underscore, because they won't. These guys are crazy. They won't give me the at Shanye uh, uh, handle 
It's got some older lady on there, bro. She ain't touched it since like 2010, uh, dude. I know so what I, you mean, man. I'm gonna keep oh bugging him. But like, yeah. cause that's not my government name and I tried to send him some documents, but uh, I guess I have to like trademark that or copyright it now. So that's like, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, and, and honestly, like Instagram, I'm getting to the point in my life where I'm like, Instagram's not that important. Like I'm, I've cut down so much time scrolling mm -hmm. because I'm like, Dude, I can be editing. I could be fucking flying the drone. I can be fucking working uh, on uh, some thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, like, yeah. there's just so much more that fills me right now than like seeing the same stuff on Instagram. You know what I mean? That's dope. Not to, yeah. not to say that it's not an awesome thing, but it's just, I'm just like, ah, I'd rather let me create stuff for that instead of actually just absorbing it, you know? The, yeah, man. It's a, like you said, a different lane from consumption to producing uh, for social media. So, yeah, man. That's dope. Yeah. So, so the very last question before I let you go is what is the greatest lesson you've learned thus far? The greatest lesson, like life lesson, life lesson, life lesson, the greatest life lesson. I mean, I think right now my greatest life lesson is like to be open with yourself, be honest with yourself have pure intentions with with you know what i'm saying who you are and what you're doing and it, it's gonna create waves that you can ride for a long time you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. as you know being that stand-up dude or being that stand-up woman and being you know being a hard worker with good intentions and and being grateful that's the other thing dude attitude of gratitude we didn't talk too much about that but just thanking the universe thanking your universe or god or buddha whoever you want to thank even kuan yin we can thank kuan yin because you know what i'm saying i don't want to be under no mercy but yeah. um yeah just just being real just being really real and and taking a couple deep breaths every now and then looking at reality and, and being okay with reality you know what I mean? And being okay with yourself and just go for it. You know what I'm saying? That's when you could really just go for it. And everybody, I encourage everybody out here to go for go for their dreams, if you will, right? Or, or if there's something you've wanted to do, like a podcast or like a, a videographer or a painter or something, a bicyclist, whatever. You know, if there's something that you've been feeling like, dude, I missed out or blah, 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 you ain't missed out. Do it now. Do it this weekend. You know what I'm saying? St. Patty's yeah. Day. Do it. Like... Like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's that whole package. And you'll just, you'll start feeling better about yourself. You'll start seeing yourself feel better about other people. You'll start having better conversations. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Um, For sure. I think without, without those intentions and without being honest with yourself, it creates a very awkward situation and very awkward connections or relationships or things that you bring on that you don't really like. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, no doubt, just, man. Just be real with yourself and the people around you. That's the truth. Be, be <laughs> real, man. Uh, so yeah. What you think? What you think? Well, my my greatest life lesson. <laughs> or, yeah. Oh man. Um, I mean, real quick, just real quick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You, you're going through a big thing right now. It is, it is, man. And honestly, when I if I think about it, I'll be thinking about it more. Uh, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, like in my mind, I'm probably going to write down something like 34 rules or something like that, like life or whatever. But yeah, yeah, something I'm thinking about. Yeah, um, I guess for me, man, it would be to. Uh, in, in the same vein as in believing yourself, believing in yourself. Um, I think that's one of the biggest things, man, and because the challenge continues to grow as you get older it seems like you know it's easy to believe in yourself when you're young but to believe in yourself when you're older and when like you've taken hits and you've taken I mean for me I spent maybe my 20s like failing every day and like oh well, in, in my opinion I was failing every day and like now that I'm at a point where I feel like I've now that I know what failure is I think it's 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 easier for me to recognize when the good things are happening and like what I need to be holding on to. That's usually that's where I'm at. So yeah, I would say fail, fail a lot so you get familiar with it and you know what that feeling's like, you know what it what brought you there and so you know exactly what you got to do to 
to not fail, you know? Um, so yeah, I, that would be one of the greatest lessons I've learned is to fail, fail a lot, fail, fail often. And, and then you'll, you'll know better, you know, <laughs> and that and those be lessons okay with it. You got to be okay with failing, right? You got to mm-hmm. be okay with it because then that's, what's going to keep pushing you. Right. It's like, Oh shit, I fucking tripped, but I'm back up. I'm okay with, with tripping and getting back up. Okay. Yeah, I'm still here. Keep going. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm still here. I'm, yeah. I'm still, I can still do this. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what, but yeah. So there you go, man. Um, I just want to say peace to everybody. And then, oops.